Hi guys. So today we have a very simple algorithm to write. I'm going to show you. Uh, let me show you the question. Write a method to replace all spaces in the string with this symbol over here, percent twenty. So we, this this algorithm we're going to call it U uh, URLify. URLify. So. So we're going to assume that there is sufficient space at the end. So if you're giving it a string like this, no matter how much space it is at the end, we ignore it. You pass in the length of the string. So this, the length of the string consists of all the spaces in between, with the exception of the spaces at the end. So the space at the end do not count. So even if you erase it, it doesn't matter. So let's count the, the total. Make sure it's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Beautiful. So the space don't count. No matter how much space we have, it shouldn't matter. So what we should return is something that looks like that below. See how the, this is here? All right, so enough of that. Let's solve it. I wrote the questions down, but no need to write it down. So let's just write the code. Yeah, this is a, that's a different question here. Let's not worry about the different question. Let's worry about this question. Okay. So this is called URLify const. Oh, it takes a string. So let's see. What are we trying to do? We want. So the first thing you want to do is first. The easiest solution is you want to loop through the string, obviously, until you encounter something. But let's create what we're going to put the results in. So let, let, new string. I'm going to call this new string. That's, so this is an empty string right now. And then we're going to loop for let i equals zero. Oh, I'm sorry. N. If the n is the length. The size of the well, yeah, it's 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 the size of the size of the string. So just leave comments. This is a string, and then n is size of string. Ignoring backspaces, ignoring last, ending, ending white spaces. Okay, so let's continue with the for loop. I is less than n. I plus plus. So what do we want to do here? So we want to check. We're gonna say if. We want to say if the if string of i, if it equals an empty space, we are going to. Concatenate it, concatenate that using this operator plus equal, concatenate it with the percent sign that they want. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm saying that here I'm saying you're going to go through the string and then wherever you encounter this white space, concatenate this new empty string right now that we have with the percent 20. So we check that first. If that's if we, if that doesn't happen, then the new string just add plus equal to the regular string. The new string just becomes the regular string. It's, it's that simple. If that doesn't happen, the new string becomes the regular string, and then we return the new string. So let's run this. Let's run it. Let's console that log. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change this into a self-calling function. So I'm, I'm turning this into a self-calling. It calls itself. So let's passing. Let's passing this. Mr. John Smith, size 13. With a space in the end. Okay, calls itself. All we gotta do is just call this function. 
well, we can console that. We should console that log the result because it returns. It doesn't print the result. So you are relified. That's all we're doing. Actually, uh, it's messy. What's the use of that if I'm not gonna print it out? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna print it out. Yeah. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is just call this function. Beautiful. Let's see. I'm going to run it on the terminal. Open the terminal. Oh, let me save it. Beautiful. Done. Mr. Percent 20 Smith. As you can see, this is what we got. That's exactly what we want. So, even if it doesn't matter, you can put anything there as long as you know the length of it. One, two, three. Uh, if you, even if you remove the, the, the misters, you gotta get the n number of space correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 11 beautiful the second one gives us this and that's exactly what we want so that's it I hope you enjoy this code it's really it's pretty simple I I did use ES6 syntax arrow functions self calling uh, and thank you oh the complexity of this by the way is big O to the end because of just one for loop that's all thanks